Hi, in this video, we will talk about sniffing attack in detail. First, we'll talk about the definition, highlighting some protocols that are vulnerable to sniffing, types of sniffing, sniffing tools, and sniffing attack tutorial. What is sniffing attack? Sniffing attack is an act of theft or interception of data by capturing the network traffic using a sniffer. So when the data is transmitted across networks, if the data packets are not encrypted, the data within the network packet can be read using a sniffer. Sniffing attack is among various types of attacks on LAN networks. It is an easy attack to perform and can be very harmful. Network traffic sniffing allows malicious users to easily steal confidential data, passwords, and anyone's privacy. Next, protocol vulnerable to sniffing. Protocols that are susceptible to sniffers include Firstly, Telnet Telnet is a client-server protocol that provides communication facility through virtual terminal. Telnet does not encrypt the traffic by default. This means that anyone having access to a switch or hub that connects to client and server can sniff the Telnet traffic for username and password. Usually, SSH is used as an alternate to the unsecured Telnet. SSH uses cryptography to encrypt the traffic and provides confidentiality and integrity to the traffic. Second, HTTP. HTTP is also known as Hypertext Transfer Protocol. It is used at layer 7 of the OSI model. This is an application layer protocol that transmits the information in plain text. This was fine when there were static websites or websites that did not require any input from the user. Anyone can set up a man-in-the-middle proxy in between and listen to all the traffic or modify that traffic for personal gains. Thirdly, SMTP, short for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol Traffic, which includes emails sent to unknown server or from infected host. Lastly, FTP, File Transfer Protocol or FTP enables clients to share files between computers in a network this protocol fails to supply encryption, so attackers sniff data also for user credentials. For authentication, FTP uses plain text username and password mechanism. FTP can be secured by implementing SSL or TSL or also can be replaced by a more secured version called SFTP, short for SSH File Transfer Protocol. There are two types when it comes to sniffing attack. Firstly, passive sniffing. Passive sniffing, which means sniffing on a network that has a hub installed, is a dream for any packet analysis. Traffic sent through a hub is sent to every port connecting to the hub. Secondly, active sniffing. A switch environment is the most common type of network. Switches provide an efficient means of transporting data via broadcast, unicast, and multicast traffic. As a bonus, switches allow full duplex communication, meaning that machines can send and receive data simultaneously through a switch. Next, we'll move on to sniffing tools. There are multiple sniffing tools that are available, such as TCP Dump, Wireshark, EtherCap, SolarWinds Packet Analysis Bundle. On the next part, we will have some insight on the tutorial for a sniffing attack. We're going to use EtherCap to capture credentials, specifically usernames and passwords, from a target that uses HTTP and FTP, in other words, unencrypted protocols. For our setup, we have two Linux machines. This window on the left side is the victim. And on the right side is the attacker. So we're going to use EtherCap to put ourselves in the middle between the default gateway, which is the host, and the victim. We can look up for our default gateway by going on to the terminal and just typing in IP route. So from here, we know that our default gateway is 1112. Realistically, that's all we need to know for EtherCap to work. Technically, we can put ourselves between everybody on a subnet and a default gateway or individual target if you want to. In this situation, you'll put ourselves between everyone and the default gateway. This is what you might want to do in an internet cafe or something. So first off, let's go up here to the attacker machine. We'll go to EtherCap, so go to application, 
scroll down to the sniffing and spoofing and then select EpiCap. This is the graphical user interface of EpiCap. We're going to go to sniff. We'll do unified sniffing. We only have one nick on Kali machine which is what unified sniffing means. And then you can go select OK. So before we put ourselves in the middle of the ether cap, we have to figure out the target. So let's go to host, scan for host. You can only put yourselves in the middle on a given subject with art poisoning, which is what we're going to use because it only works with an inter subnet. So we're going to go to host list. Remember that 112 is our default gateway. So we'll make this as target one. We'll make all of this as target two. Right, so now you assume you don't know your attacker's IP address and you try your luck or you just, you know, try your luck. So like I said, uh, from here we can see that we put ourselves between everything and the default gateway. Then we'll go to man in the middle, art poisoning, sniff remote connection, click on that. Alright, so on the victim's machine, we can see that this is the original MAC address over here, which is f 98848 So if I'm in the middle, if the Kali machine, the attacker's Kali machine is in the middle between the victim and default gateway, the MAC address for 1112 should be the MAC address of the attacker's Kali machine. So let's check the MAC address now. We'll do an ARP dash a and it looks like it has changed to f a 96 acdd now let's verify over here that that is the mac address of the attacker's kali machine by using the command ifconfig and we can see that it is 96 acdd 96 acdd so yes we're in the middle with ethercap of course so now the cool thing about EtherCap is when you're in the middle, that's pretty much all you have to do is just run it just like we did. And on this window down here at the bottom, if it sees any credential passed in clear text, it will capture them to the window. So, so let's go over here to the victim's machine. We'll go over here and type in FTP, FTP.mcafe com. So we're going to log on to McAfee's FTP site with the clear text protocol. The username of let's see anonymous and the password like so. We put our password there, and if you notice, there is a pop up on the attacker side. You don't have to do a whole lot. You don't have to wait and look at traffic. It will just pops out usernames and password in the protocol. So over here, we see we see FTP. Somebody went to 64713456621 with the username of anonymous and password of I hate dogs. So let's try HTTP if it works in HTTP. So I've got a site here. It is just a site we can test on test a log on via HTTP which is clear text so we'll do a username the username and the password username would be admin and the password will be I live cats and click on logged in and then look to over here it captures that as well and the whole time the user never notices because we're in the middle there's no warning banner that pops up and the user won't notice if you do lay two men in the middle attack so you've got the protocol HTTP uh, the website which is here the username which is the admin and also the password I love cats so guys always remember to use websites with HTTPS for more secure browsing and a safe environment now we've come to the end of the video thank you for watching stay safe